The topic of my today's speech is what defines a person. So what does it define a person? Is it a height of a person? Or race? Or other things? So if you if you want to reduce me to, to my height, uh, nationality, and gender, I will be no more than a, just a tall Russian man. It, is that really it? So what does really define a person? Is it the way of thinking, or personal uh, beliefs, or what a person says? Let me tell you what I think defines a person. The journey, the journey that defines me began in high school, where I first encountered high-level math. This encounter has helped me realize that the preciseness of mathematics fascinated me, and I enjoyed investigating mathematical problems. I solved problems and completed projects in high school that were not mandatory, but I did that out of pleasure. I declared a math major in, in high school, and I participated in all kinds of uh, scientific uh, uh, com com competitions, and I was always among the top three places. In the 10th grade, I made it, to, it into the final of the prestigious George Soros high school science uh, competition. It's considered to be a very difficult uh, competition, but making it to the finals, I felt that I, I was proud of uh, myself. After finishing high school, I, I was accepted to Voronezh State University in Russia, where they had uh, outstanding mathematics de department with a long history and strong research tra traditions. After my freshman year, I was offered to take advanced placement exams, and after outstandingly passing them, I was allowed to skip my sophomore year. In my junior year, I declared mathematics as my my major, and I and, and I did research under the supervision of the head of the mathematics uh, DA, DA department. My advisor referred to my work as excellent, and that it would uh, benefit his future in, in endeavors. I realized that uh, mathematics offers me the opportunity to satisfy my curiosity, to realize my talents, and solve any problem with elegance. I love the clear, clear structure of uh, mathematical proofs. Mathematics is uh, universal, flexible, and I enjoy applying it to other areas. This is precisely the reason why I began studying physics in the US. Like my undergraduate research project, my research project, my graduate research project dealt with dealt with solvability of mathematical problems. This time, however, it was more tricky. So in order to surmount the many, uh, many difficulties, I had to think deeply about the problem I was solving. I owe a lot to physics since it taught me how to think rationally about the, the problem I was solving. Even though I made a lot of achievements in the domain of physics, overall I didn't feel that this is the field with, in which I can serve the humankind the best. Having concluded this, I began my search for other possible areas of service. One that I found was in, in engineering, a rapidly expanding field to study. To further better myself by joining the network of intellectual, uh, motivating, scientifically involved people, I applied and was accepted to UConn, where I have had a unique opportunity to customize my study to fit my personal goals. I am receiving an outstanding education as well as improving my research skills and expanding the knowledge of the field, thereby making, make, thereby making sure that people benefit from my research. In the future, I would also like to be a guide for future uh, generations to pass on my experience to smart, energetic, resolute, dedicated, assiduous, per perseverant young people. So what does really define a person? Is it a way of thinking? But most people do not follow what, what, what they think, they don't apply it to life. 
you never know what the per what the person actually lives in, and you never you can never trust what a person says. But what a person does, this is actually what makes the difference because actions speak louder than words.